name is Cal Raleigh. His nickname, Big Dumper. Why, you might ask? Well, he hits big bombs and has a big personality. Cal is a switch hitting catcher and a product of Florida State University. He was drafted by the Seattle Mariners in 2018 in the third round after his junior year in which he received first team all ACC honors. And during his time at Florida State, he was praised by scouts and coaches for his ability to effectively frame pitches as well as how he could handle the young pitching staff. In 2018, the year that Cal was drafted, the Mariners finished third in the AL West, once again missing the playoffs. And at the time, their catcher was young but struggling Mike Zunino, who in November of 2018 was traded to the Tampa Bay Rays for Malik Smith. This, along with the Robinson Cano trade that came a month later, signaled the start of a rebuild and the beginning of a new era for the Mariners. The Mariners then signed free agent catcher Austin Nola, as well as trading for Omar Narvaez from the White Sox. Narvaez was then traded to the Brewers in 2019, and Austin Nola was traded to the Padres in a package in 2020. During this time, Cal was progressing through the minor leagues, and in 2021, he had his first opportunity in the bigs. Cal made his debut on July 11th, and just over 10 days later, hitting his first career home run off of Frankie Montas. There you go. And there it is! First big league homer! Cal Raleigh! Middle deck! 2-0 Mariners! Cal would finish out 2021 platooning with Tom Murphy and Luis Torrens, looking for a breakout season in 2022. And a breakout is exactly what we're looking at. Deep center field, big time carry. Hicks looking up, it's gone! Cal Raleigh with a home run! Cal started off 2022 in a bit of a slump, and after being sent down to AAA, Tom Murphy, the Mariners' starting catcher, got injured, and after just seven minor league games, Cal was back in Seattle. Before being sent to Tacoma, Cal was batting 083 with just two hits, one home run, and a 214 on base percentage. However, in the next two and a half months, he would bat 227 with 42 hits, 13 home runs, 36 RBIs, with a 298 on base percentage. And now, sitting here in mid August, after today's game against the Angels, where he hit two home runs, Cal now leads all MLB catchers with 18 home runs. He's an ace, and then you see him on the offensive side. Oh my oh, God! What a rip! Raleigh again! Oh my God! Cal Raleigh muscles up for his second home run of the afternoon with authority. And yeah, you just lost to YouTube MVP Cal Raleigh. On top of leading all catchers in home runs, Cal is fourth among catchers in the percentage of barrels per plate appearance. He's third in average exit velocity and third in at-bats per home run. If you're not a Mariner fan, you may not even know who Cal Raleigh is. Because over in Baltimore, there's another switch hitting catcher who in his rookie year is stealing all of the headlines. There's already talk of Adley Rutschman being the best catcher in baseball. And while I'm not here to make the argument that Cal Raleigh is better than Adley, because on paper clearly he is not, my only point here is that Cal is extremely underrated and needs to be talked about more often. General manager of the Mariners, Jerry Depoto, was asked on Seattle Sports 710 who he thought was the most underrated player on the team. And here was his response. Who who does more to help this team but gets talked about the least? Wow, that's a, that's a great question. I, they all contribute in so many ways. You know, this is a, it's this is the most complete, you know, twenty six man new hero every day type roster I've ever been associated with. You know, I would say over the course of the last couple of months. If you had to pick one guy that fit the the bill of they don't get enough credit, it's probably Cal. Uh, the the weight that he has carried behind the plate, the the way he has handled our pitching staff so adeptly, uh, doing it at such a young age, and and the power that he brought to our lineup in in a time where we really needed someone to step up. Uh, we've talked about it, you know. We've we've praised Cal for the adjustments that he's made, and and people have obviously noticed. But on on that that team of, of guys that have all stepped up and you know he's probably the one that hasn't gotten enough credit because of the the, the burden he's carried on, on birth workload and what he's doing behind the plate the, the two-way player that he's become okay okay we get it he's underrated so where did that big dumper nickname come from well aside from all the awesome memes on twitter 
A couple weeks back on the Mike Salk show, Seattle Sports 710, they were talking about how Cal Raleigh got this nickname. And rumor has it that after a minor league game in which Cal Raleigh had the walk-off hit, Jared Kelnick was asked about the game, and Kelnick replied that it was a big hit by the Big Dumper. Until we have confirmation from Cal or Kelnick on where this nickname actually came from, all we can do is speculate. But one thing is for sure, and that is that Mariners fans have embraced this nickname, and this is only the beginning. And for you Mariners fans, here's the updated wildcard standings after the games today. The Mariners now have a one and a half game lead above the Tampa Bay Rays and the Toronto Blue Jays. And their next series is in Oakland starting on Friday. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, give it a share, and we'll see you next time. All right, guys, goodbye zone, and don't forget it. Stop it.